And Zach, I just want to take it back. So you were, would you say you were introduced to drugs and alcohol in high school? Yeah, it was, I would say probably like sixth grade, you know, at a Christmas, par- Christmas party, a couple older guys like threw me a beer and I drank it and, you know. Gotcha. And when did you like along your journey? Because obviously that was like in middle school and then you talked about being 27. Like at what point did you feel like, okay, I definitely have an issue? It's funny you ask, Brian, because I, I kind of, everyone's got a different experience, right? Kind of yeah. like their moment of clarity. And, uh, you know, for me, I don't think I knew. I mean, there's a crazy story behind like my last couple hours of, of, of drinking and drugging to where like my dad kind of like came down to this bank where I was trying to cash one of his checks. And, you know, what happened was he got this phone call on a Saturday morning from the bank teller basically saying like, you got to get, you got to get down here. Like your son's in trouble. He's trying to cash one of your banks, one of your checks. He happened to be in his office. He happened to answer the phone from an unknown caller. Right. Mm -hmm. He happened to be 10 minutes away. There was missing person reports like all over the place. And he bolted down there. And for me, like that moment that you're asking about is when he walked into that bank and kind of put his arm on my arm. He's like, son, we're going home. I felt something in that moment that I like to this day. I just got goosebumps. Right. I can't describe it. Something left me. And that's when I knew like, all right, this life, I'm done with this life. And he walked me out and the two guys that I was running around, two drug dealers were sitting outside the bank and I kind of like waved to them. They knew they saw it, you know, and that was the beginning of like, you know, my second, my second life. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I love that. Th- th- thank you for that. So the bank teller story, it's 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 my greatest story in life. And so <laughs> what what happened was, you know, I go, I get sober, I start this whole new life in New York City. I don't really think about that moment. I mean, I talk about it a lot because it was my like moment of clarity. But then I end up on this crazy show, right? The Bachelorette. And disconnected from the world and I started to reflect on like how I got to this moment right that's one of the things I'm most grateful for like really that in turn like looking inward in addition to falling in love and doing all that stuff like I really got to think about my life and uh when I got out I I made a mission to go find the bank teller and I went down to the PNC bank where she had been working Rhonda Jackson is her name if you go to my Instagram you can see a post about it but um I walked in that bank. She was still there. I surprised her. I brought her flowers. We had, she's like, Oh my God, Zach, I remember calling your dad. Like she remembered it. Wow. And, uh, it was her last week on the job. Wow. She was leaving. Just in you know, time. like, wow. yeah, it was nuts. It was nuts. I love that, bro. That's oh insane. my God. Yeah. This is cool. I'm getting like, I really she have like helped, helped save you in a sense, man. That's, that's incredible, man. 